I think there are so many very real and human touches in the infancy narrative as we read it. And we see that Zechariah and Mary, both the recipients of an angelic announcement of a coming miraculous birth, ask how can this be? What will be the sign? But when Zechariah asks that question, he is struck dumb and cannot actually speak until the day that they have the circumcision of John. Mary, when she asks for a sign, is told of the good news of her cousin Elizabeth, who is also going to have a baby. Well, why does he get such a bummer and she gets such a great thing? <laughs> Let's look at Zechariah. He's a mature man. He's a priest who has been serving for decades already in the temple. He is going into the holy place in the temple to burn incense on the incense altar before the curtain that separates the holy place from the most holy place where God's presence dwells. This is the closest access anyone has to the presence of God outside of the high priest. This is at the hour of the evening sacrifice. Incense is going up. Music is filling the temple mount and an angel appears to a priest who has had the benefit of scripture and education and temple service. What more does he need? How much more do you have to have from God to believe the word? Whereas Mary, a teenage girl living in a remote town in the Galilee without the benefit of education, status, and life experience, is legitimately able to ask the question, how can this be since I'm a virgin? So I think that the severity of his sign has to do with the fact that he should have re recognized the calling of God when it came.